Well, I'm Vicki with My Paper Connection, and I'm so happy that you are joining me tonight. There might not be a, a lot on right this minute, but um, there will be there will be others that will that will see this in a replay, not necessarily live, but seeing in a replay. And then I also put these on YouTube, and I do have a YouTube channel. It's Vicki Parsons My Paper Connection, and if you haven't already subscribed to that, I would love to have you do that. Um, and be sure to ring the bell because then you'll get noticed whenever I have other videos coming out. Um, so today's Tuesday, September 29th. October's almost here. Woo! And the weather is nice and cool. Woo! Excited about that. It's act, starting to act like fall around here. Yes! And so, hey, Jenny. Um, so tonight what I'm going to be doing is paper pumpkin alternatives. And I'm really excited about it. Um, a few months ago, a friend of mine challenged, a friend on my team actually, challenged me to, to do paper pumpkin alternatives. And if I'm being honest with you, I had let my paper pumpkins just kind of sit because I don't like to be told that I have to do, do it the way they say to do it, but it really, I'm an in the box kind of person. So I really didn't think about doing something different with them. So it was a challenge and I'm always up for a challenge. So that's what I did. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, this month's paper pumpkin is actually supposed to be crackers. I'll show you. Hello, Rhonda. Happy, I'm so happy you're here. So this is, this is the project for this month's paper pumpkin. I don't need 20 crackers, okay? They're cute, I love them. Actually, I'm gonna make these and put them on my table at the plates for Thanksgiving with something, I don't know, I don't know yet what I'll put inside, but um, they'll be really pretty for Thanksgiving. So let me show you some of the things that I came up with, and then I'm gonna create some things. So this card is um, a card that I came up with using some of the little die cutout pieces that they had in the, the kit. And then, um, I love that, by the way. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but um, this one, I am really tickled about. Okay, so let me fix it. Check it out. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I just used embroidered, not embroidered, embossing folder for here. And um, I'll show you as I'm crafting, but there are little, right in these little sections right here are little triangles or little diamonds that come out. And I use those little diamonds to make a kite. And I put the tails on it. I love how it turned out. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, and this one, I forgot about this one. So I cut one of them off and I created a chapstick tube. I love it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn, me, turn you all down. I'm gonna cover it real quick though and then we'll get started crafting. Yay, I'm excited you all are here. All right, so I'll get me all laid out here real quick. If you guys are, if you do not do paper pumpkin, um, it would be a good idea for you to check out this next month. It's going to be wonderful. It's starting that, that time of year for our Christmas season, and it will have really cute projects in it. I just know. So, Okay, the first thing I'm going to have to do is put my glasses on because I can't see squat anymore. You know, you hit 40 or so, <laughs> and then you just can't see anymore. So let me do that. I'm going to give you a, a little bit closer look at that little... Um, you just slide it in like this, and this is my old tube of chapstick. But I, I'm going to show you how I made that. And I think I'll do that first. So basically what I did, they, um, what you receive is about 20 of these things, okay? And you can see the little diamonds that pop out. Well, what I did was I cut it in half. It's 7 inches long, so I cut it at 3 and a half inches. And then... What I did was, I, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are um, score marks right in here. So I took it halfway between that scalloped edge and that score mark, which is right about an inch. And I just went in there and just scored it like that. And I have already, um, I'm not gonna score that other piece, um, but I did measure it. And there's a score part right here. And from here to here, it is a little over one inch. So I'm gonna put that score line right there, right at the one inch line. And I'm just gonna cut what is left off. Okay. And then I'm just going to burnish this. 
and I am going to, I'll do it this way first. Because at every one of these little areas, it has a score mark. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I only needed four of these, four of these little sections right here. So right where that fourth area goes, I'm just going to just trim that off like that. Okay. Alrighty. So then what I did was um, I put tear and tape right along in here on this piece. And I put it on this piece because I want it to be on the outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my chapstick out so I can use it as a, a guide. But you do do, you do do. <laughs> you do burnish those areas as well, okay? And then take my little take your pick tool Peel that off, put this right in here, and it's not going to actually, I want there to be a flat piece here and it to go in like an angle on the front side. So you just take this piece and kind of tuck it right there into that score mark area. And then that's all you do. That is it. And it's nice and snug. I'm not going to take the time to decorate it. You can see what I did here. In the kit, there are all sorts of um, embellishments and die cuts and all sorts of things. And I've used a lot of them today playing around. But I just did one of the leaves and the flower and one of the little curly cues and the pumpkin. Hey, Kathy, thanks for joining me. Okay, so yeah, I just took some of the crinkle ribbon and I used some of these little things. And I used, what I did was I put a dimensional under here under the leaf and under here. But then I put a glue dot back there to kind of make that calm down a little bit so that it would kind of hug the exterior of it. Um, and you can see it makes a really nice little gift. Okay. All right. So let me put that to the side. The next thing I'm going to show you is, um, let's see. Yes, this piece. I'm actually going to show you how these come together. And I'm going to do when I've done one with the, um, I showed you the, the one that was decorated for Thanksgiving, which is right here. Okay, I don't have anything in it yet, but it's super, super easy to put it together. And these little um, diamonds right here can be used for all sorts of things. Um, I'll show you in a minute another thing that I did with those diamonds. And it's just really, really cute. So I'm gonna get my tear and tape, which um, you actually get tear and tape with the product. So um, you don't actually have to use it, but I just like using my big piece. So just go ahead and put your tear and tape on there. I'm just going to put one piece on here. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope y'all are doing well. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll fix it. Okay. I basically just wanted to show you how to put this together um, in case you hadn't already. It's super, super easy. Um, you know, crackers are not really a huge thing here in America, but um, in England they are. And I think a lot of you know that my son and daughter-in-law are, they live in England. My daughter-in-law is English, which makes my granddaughter English-American. Um, she is an American citizen and also an English citizen. And she is a funny little thing. So basically, that's all you do is you stick it together and then you bring your um, ribbon, which is, I think I'll use the black ribbon. I can lay my hands on it. But she is the funniest little character. She has started going to a school that um, is a little posh and her name is Mavis, Mavis Bet Decker. And she goes to this, this little school that's a little bit posh. So recently she told her dad, she says, Dad, can you run the water in the bath? And my son just cracked up because she's just like talking like Queen Elizabeth now. It's really funny. She's five and just such a little beauty. Okay. I suppose you could put any kind of candy in here that's small enough to fit. Um, I saw Rachel Tessman's, uh, 
I saw her paper pumpkin alternative and she actually cut these in half um, the long way and I mean like instead of having one full thing going this way she cut those in half and then she said you could put to Tootsie Rolls in them. I messed my bow up there. Hold on one second. I promise I won't fiddle with bows the whole time. I actually pre-made a bunch of stuff so that it wouldn't take me quite so long tonight. There we go. Kathy, your, your paper pumpkin is all over your dining room table. That's funny. Are you making them all um, crackers and putting stuff in them for Halloween? I don't know if you were on earlier when I said it, but I'm planning to use mine for for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna put them at the tables. We have people coming that haven't gotten to spend Thanksgiving with us in a while. And so um, they're military and his family's in Colorado, her family is in Texas. And so um, we adopted them when, when we first, when they first started coming to our church years ago. And so um, we just kinda, we just kinda keep them. We've decided we're gonna keep them, we love them. And let's see, what was I going to do on this? I don't remember. All right, well, let me just do this. I'm going to put my little... I designed these things, and I, I put in my mind what it is that I want to do. And I do it earlier in the day. And then by the time I sit down to do it, I've done so many other things that I actually sit there and think, um, what was I going to do with this? I don't remember. <laughs> I know I can't be the only one that, that acts like that, right? This probably is not going to be my best coloring job because I'm trying to be quick, but um, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of Cajun craze in here because I just want a little bit darker in there as well. I love experimenting with the blends. I love bringing colors together and seeing what I can come up with. Sometimes it works fabulously and sometimes it tanks. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I think it's gonna work well. I think the Cajun Crage is gonna craze. It's going to pick up and, and make it look really dimensional. Okay. And then I'll just do um, I think I'll do the leaf because I think I'm going to put that um, witch hat on top of it. So, Rhonda, you made all 20 of yours? You did them Halloween? That's cool. We don't have a huge amount of kids in our neighborhood, and we usually end up um, turning the lights out and then going to my, grand to my daughter's house and hanging out with the grandkids and doing something with them. So, all right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to, I don't think I even needed to do that. I didn't even need to color it, but I did, so. All right, I'm going to put the hat on it, on top of it. But before I do that, I am going to do a face, a jack-o'-lantern face. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to confess something here. I have never actually carved a pumpkin. I know, crazy, right? Never. Um, we just didn't, we didn't do that sort of thing when I was a kid. And um, I, I don't know. I mean, my mom didn't even like cook pumpkin. I do. I get a fresh pumpkin every year. And I will, um, I'll cook, cook it and then um, freeze it or something like that that I'll use. Um, yeah, you do, Kathy. Um, you do meet some of the coolest people. Is were, did you? I mean, were you or your husband or your parents or whatever military? Okay, stick a little leaf in there. I 
It's not going to be too scary of one, but it is a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, I didn't get enough glue on that, apparently. Um, my husband was military before I met him, and he had gotten out, and then he did um, guard. There is no glue coming out of that. It has worked all day, and now it's not. Of course it's not. Go figure. Watch me, I'm probably going to squirt it all over the place. Let's hope not. Well, I can fix that. I'll just open up another one because I'm not going to take the time to mess with that. Okay. There we go. Apparently, I didn't have enough on either one of these flowers either. <laughs> Your dad and your husband were military? Yeah, like I said, my husband was military before I met him, but he had gotten out and he moved to St. Louis. He was stationed in Alaska. And he moved to St. Louis, which is where I was living at the time. And um, I met him and then he ended up going, after we got married, he went back into the, the guard. And then we did ministry for a while. And um, when we moved to Georgia, he ended up going back into the guard again. And this time he's been in it since 2003 and he's been active duty guard, AGR is what they call it. So he does deploy, he does do TDYs, things like that. But um, he doesn't have to, we don't have to like relocate if we don't want to take an assignment or something, you know. Oh, good grief. You would think I don't even know how to use the glue. Okay, there we go. I'm spending far too much time on this. Okay. I'm about to move on to the next one. Your dad was Air National Guard? Coast Guard. Now, that's something my husband said if he had to do it all over again, that he would go back and be Coast Guard. There we go. So, there's a cute little... A little thing can you you guys can see it okay right there we go okay so there's two of the crackers all fixed up all right so I'm gonna put those to the side and we'll move on to the next project okay so on this one I'm gonna make a fun fold and so the the paper is cut at um, five and a half by eight and a half scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter and we're gonna do it like this, okay? This is Cajun Craze. And I'm taking gray granite, and this is another one of those pieces that I can't seem to lay my hands on right now, but um, here we go. This is another one of those pieces that I just cut it at three and a half inches. And this is what I have left, okay? And um, it, has, it has score lines in it. This is something that I do to kind of help the score lines not be quite so indented. I go on the back side where the mountain of the score lines are, and I just use my bone folder and just kind of give them a little bit of a rub down and a press to just kind of flatten them out just a little. It doesn't take it away completely, but it does help smooth them out just a little bit. Okay, so this I am going to just glue and put on to my gray granite right in here. I'm just going to basically use it as designer series paper. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue it onto my Cajun craze. I just have a little fun fold going on right here. Like that. I'm not going to take the time to do the inside of it, but I am going to decorate it a little bit. So I'm going to take my pumpkin again and just stamp it and color it in. Thank you. It is a cute little pumpkin. 
And I like that you can do it with or without the face um, in case you want to do it for Thanksgiving or Halloween. I do like that about it. Okay, and I'm not going to put a hat on it, so I am going to just color a little of the dark soft suede in there. I usually don't go nearly this fast, but I have quite a few that I want to show you. So I'm trying to be quick so I don't take up too much of your time. I am loving doing these alternatives. Um, like I said in the very beginning, I, I was never a huge paper pumpkin person. I got them because I, I was building a business and I was like, well, you know, I need to do it. I need to support it. I need to do it. And then they would sit on the shelf and I wouldn't do it because there were cards that I was trying to do for a class or um, the main reason, if I'm just being honest with you, is I don't like to be told that I have to do something a certain way. And I was having trouble thinking outside of the box. <laughs> okay, I'm just being real, real and honest with you. Maybe it's just a little renegade side of me. I don't know. But um, my, my friend and my team member, Jan, she said, you know, you ought to do a Facebook Live and do paper pumpkin alternatives. And then I sat down one day and I just sat there and looked at it like, what, what do I do with it? How, how am I supposed to do this differently? So I did watch a few, um, uh, in the, in the be beginning, I would watch a few of the alternatives and it would kind of give me an idea of things that I could do in order to, and so then I actually started enjoying it and I'm finding the more that I do it, the more that creativity is, is happening and I'm just really enjoying it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this without sticking my head in the camera. So when I sat down to do this this week, well actually last night and today, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun with this. This is too fun. So um, anyway, and I couldn't stop myself. So I basically ended up just doing it for hours today, just playing. All right, I'm gonna make a double bow here. So I'm doing a um, bunny ear and a bunny ear. And if they're small and you're having trouble, what I found is, okay, so if I'm having trouble picking it up, I'll take my, take your pick tool and just pull it like that. And then I hold on to the other side and tighten it up. Okay, so it looks weird because I didn't, clip this yet. There we go. Okay. Tighten it up. Make it pretty. By the way, um, I was going to tell people at the very beginning, if you share, um, if you comment and share and say that you, sh you shared it, your name will go into a, a drawing for a prize. So, please feel free to do so. Okay, I'm gonna sit it over here. I am going to try to build my Facebook Live group. I've actually thought about, and I probably shouldn't say this out loud on Facebook, but I've thought about doing YouTube Lives and seeing how that goes. I haven't done those before, and I don't know what they would be like. Have any of you guys watched those? Okay, I'm just going to stick this right in here. Hello, pumpkin. I'm going to put a glue dot, and I swore I would keep all my adhesives in one place so that I, I wouldn't lose stuff. Okay, just can stick it right in there. I probably should tidy up that bow just a little bit so it's not sticking out over the pumpkin. There, and then I'll just trim these off. And I'm gonna add a couple of flowers. Or maybe just one flower. I don't know, does it need it? 
What do you guys think? Does it need a flower? I think I'm going to put one on there. Stick it right. No, I'm going to take, bring it over a little bit right there. And then I will put a pretty on top of it. Okay. Make the difference. Ah, oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, so that's my second project. Okay, now this next one is super cute. I don't know if you guys looked at the paper pumpkin. Thank you, Kathy, I think it does too. I don't know if you looked at the, the instructions on the paper pumpkin, on the very back of it, it showed um, a three by three card. I think that's what it is. I did it a little bit different. Um, I made one already just to play with it and see how I, I liked it. So what I did was I took a piece of thick cardstock and it, I cut it at three inches by six inches and I scored it at three, okay? And then I cut a piece of Cajun Craze, which is one of my favorite, let me put this down so maybe we can see a little better, there we go. Cajun Craze is one of my favorite colors in the, um, in the, the fall stuff. Yeah, I think that might be a little better. Okay, anyway, I know I can see better. Um, I took two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and these little curly Q things come in the kit. And then these are um, from the purple playing with pattern resin dots, okay? Recognize these little things? These are these little diamond things that come out whenever you punch these things out. So um, that's the one that they made. And I went ahead and just made this one. And so basically, I'm, I've done two rows of them. I wanted to show you what I did to make it. So what I did was I put this on my scoring board and right here where that center um, score is at, I went all the way across with my burnishing tool and I made sure that my diamonds there were scored in the middle as well, okay? So then you just take these and you fold them in two like that, okay? I'm gonna try to do this quickly, like that. Again, I hope I, I remember the design that I came up with. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I think I'm getting to be that age, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I just have way too many things going on in my head and way too many things I'm trying to remember. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Alrighty, so let me put some of this stuff out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these up in a line and I'm going to put glue dots on the inside of them. And then I'm going to stick my black baker's twine right square in the middle of it. This is the best way that I found to do it. You gotta love these grids. Helps you to try at least be on um, online and even. Okay. up again all right this is the best way that I found to do them try to put them as even as possible on the line and then you bring the um, the twine in Kind of hard to make them all stay. It's like trying to keep your ducks in a row, right? Now, 
Now, it worked today when I was doing this without an audience. Okay. Okay. And then I'll stick this one in here too, like that. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to use another glue dot and put on the back of it. It's a little fiddly, that's for sure. So I'm going to put a little glue dot there, and then I'll put another one. And then I'll, fin I'll tidy it up after I get everything in place. Okay. I had a little bit too much slack in there, I think. There, that's better. Much better. Alrighty. I should have just used the glue dot. going through the glue dots today. Okay, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because I'm gonna end up covering it somewhat. Just slightly. I think I used the um, punch out that I was gonna use. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Oh, I know one thing I forgot. Just off in my own little world here. Use a glue dot to put this in the back. And then these little three by three cards are so cute. And I don't know if you know it or not, but we actually have envelopes for three by threes. I made this one two and three quarter by, no, two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So there's not quite as much of the white showing. And then I have, I had two little, no, I had one black bow. I'm just going to show you how, I just stick that on there like that. I was going to do another one as well. Okay, so to put these on, I'm just going to put a little bit around those diamond shapes right in there. I maybe should have put, um, used the dimensionals for that, but I didn't. I think I'm going to use black ink for this one since I use the black ties. Oh, goodness. So I have to do it over because my, um, I got too much black ink on, I pushed too hard on one side. There we go, that's much better. All right, so now I'm going to put these up, put this up with, on a dimensional and pop it up on top of that gold or bumblebee or whatever color that is. Like that. And then I think I'm going to use a little black flower over here. Oh, goodness. Everything's sticking to me now. And then I'm 
just going to put this little Cajun craze flower right there. And I put far too much of the glue on there. But you've got the idea. Isn't that cute with the little the bunting? That's another thing that's very English is bunting. Um, when we've gone over to visit my kids, we've gone through little villages that would have bunting across the street, you know, like from one side of the street to the other. And it would be in honor of different celebrations and things. One year we were there when it was the um, jubilation for the queen. I don't really, I think, what is that, 50 years as queen or something like that? So that ends up being a cute little project. Okay, now for this one, I'm using Thick Whisper White. Thank you, Kathy. I, I have a really good time playing with it. Um, yes, okay, I'm gonna bring my little mini trimmer in, and I'm going to use this again. I'm gonna come back here, and I'm going to just kind of rough it up a little bit and see if I can level out a little bit of that, the, um, the lines. I think it helps myself, but um, you guys can give it a try. I, I kind of discovered this whenever I ended up putting a, a um, I was low on paper and I ended up putting a score line where there didn't need to be a score line. Okay, let me just trim that off. Um, I think I needed to go just a little bit more. There we go. I don't like it when you cut it and then you see the score line on it. Let me scoot this over just a little bit. There we go. And see, I could use those for something. I don't know. that, But you know what? They kind of look like circus tents. <laughs> Each one of those kind of looks a little bit like a circus tent to me. I don't know where my head just went. <laughs> Alrighty. So now I'm going to put this on top of here. And I'm going to use it like a designer series paper. Gonna look different. Never really had designer series paper that was cut in this fashion before, but I think it's gonna end up being cute. Okay. This is pumpkin pie, by the way, which is a really pretty cherry orange color. I'm gonna stick this right in here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up really quickly. So I just, I did three different sizes. I did one whisper white and I did one, um, what color is this? Daffodil delight, I think it is. And so I'm just, you put it up at the top like that and then you put glue on this one and then you put it up at the top and that's what creates your candy corn look. It's such a cute look. Love it. Um, at my upline, at Sandra's um, thing the other day, her stamp timber, she had, I think it was a three by three card maybe. I can't remember. It might have been four by four. I really don't remember. But um, she had one that had candy corn, and it was just the cutest thing. So I thought, oh, I have to do that. Okay, so I'm going to pop my candy corn up. And I'm going to be a little haphazard with it in how I put it on. So maybe like that. And so before I get it completely dimensional, get dimensionals all over it, I need to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with it because I don't want to put too many dimensionals. Okay. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. I get an idea, but then I don't actually do it until I am on here. And so you don't really know if it's going to translate or not. <laughs> and I'm sorry that it's sideways. Oh, these things, I tell you, I enjoy doing them because I enjoy hanging out with you guys. But Facebook and 
the act of getting on here ugh, stresses me out. Okay, so I'm gonna put one right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in place. I'm just messing and gomming. Goodness. Okay, so I don't, I think I'm gonna put one right in there. I don't wanna double them up, so. Yeah, I can put it right there. little curly Q. I thought those were perfect for the candy corn because candy corn is just fun and curly Q's are fun. Um, I think I'll go like this and then what was I gonna say on here? I think I was gonna say hello pumpkin or hmm. I'm gonna say give thanks because who wouldn't want to give thanks for candy corn? I think my ink pad needs a little help. Okay, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Yeah, I think I need to um, use the, what do you call it, the plastic spoon technique on my ink pad. I probably don't need that many dimensionals, but. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. And I don't think I need anything else on there. What do you think? Do I need any bling or anything on it? What do you guys think? Hmm. Um, I know what I might do. Put a little bit of the yellow on here. Let's see what happens if I... Kind of goes a little bit with the, the swirly things. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect color too. Okay. Well, that is my last project. So, I'll just show you real quick and up close. These are the cute little things. Um... What did I do with the, um, well, I was going to show you the chapstick thing and in the midst of this mess on my desk, I can't lay my hands on it. Oh, here it is. There's a little chap thing, chapstick thing that I made from this. Turned out super, super cute and super, super easy. This, I got the idea off of the, um, back of the instructions and it was really fun, fun to put together. I added the um, twine and the acorn. Turned out really cute. This one, I, I, I love it. This is from the um, mini, uh, mini thanks. I can't remember the stamp set, but I thought this was really fun and happy and perfect for the kite that I made. Love it. These are the two little three by threes. The fun fold, it opens up like this or like that. And, and then the candy corn, cute, huh? I think that is it, alrighty. I hope you guys have a good evening. I'm gonna clean up my big old mess here and um, I hope to see you guys next week. 
Although it might be Thursday instead of Tuesday because next Tuesday is my granddaughter's uh, 13th birthday. I can't believe it. My oldest granddaughter's 13th birthday and they live in Warner Robins. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I will talk to you later. Bye.